Whereas number six is no China recovery. The second largest economy in the world, supposed to be surpassing the United States in the coming years. No time soon. Actually, that gap has been growing uh, in recent years, and it's likely to continue to, at least in the near future. The, U the Chinese are facing all sorts of headwinds, in part from an underperforming real estate sector, in part from bad loans and corporate debt, in part because COVID and the stimulus was relatively limited that came after it, and that's fading. And in part because internationally, they're not getting the same demand from Chinese exports, and they're not getting the same willingness to engage in foreign direct investment. All of that means that the Chinese government is being looked to very carefully for whether they're going to throw in the bazooka, do a massive fiscal expansion. And the answer is, nope, we're pretty politically stable. We're responding incrementally. And that means that China's economic recovery is anemic for the foreseeable future. It's been a major, after 2008, you remember the big driver of growth globally is that the Chinese put billions and billions into shovel-ready products. That is not where you're going to be in 2024.